series where I dig back into my stash of older papers and we use them to make something fresh and new. This week, however, I am fulfilling a promise that I made back at the beginning of the year when I made an adorable little Echo Park Welcome Baby Girl Kangaroo Pocket Folio. So many of you asked me for the tutorial and I can't do it with the baby girl because I've already used those papers, but I'm doing it with the baby boy. So we're working with Echo Park Welcome Baby Boy, the 12 by 12 collection kit and the 12 by 12 coordinating solids. And we are making this five and a half inch square card folio with a kangaroo pocket on the front cover. This is such an adorable project and really fun to make. Wonderful for gifting, wonderful as brag books for a brand new grandparent or auntie or sister or brother, whatever. So here is the cover and it has this wonderful kangaroo pocket on it. I've added some little birdie flowers with twine. This is Capri Gingham Ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And then I found some little charms and buttons in my stash. I honestly don't know where these came from. I get a lot of my stuff from Hobby Lobby jo and Joanne's, so you could check there and see if you can find them. In the kangaroo pocket, we make this adorable little three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch accordion folio. And you're gonna learn how to do this in the tutorial. This basically, captures baby's entire first year in a very portable, um, adorable format. And as you can see, this is a ginormous pullout. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. So what I've done, and I'll just show you very quickly here as I fold it back up, it has the title page, and then there is a page, this is like for that very first picture with mom and baby, and then pictures for room for pictures with uh, dad, grandparents, siblings, friends, one week old, and then it goes one picture a month. There's room for one picture a month. So you can catalog baby's entire first year. Then it goes back in this direction. These papers are so cute for a little boy. I just love them. And then when you get to 12 months, I've added some extra pictures, some little pockets and tags, so you can do some journaling. And then it goes all the way up to one year old, where I've got room for more pictures, more journaling tags. And here's a little pocket over here with more cute little tags for journaling. So that is the mini folio that sits in the pocket on the front. This would be so cute in your nursery. Then we have a magnetic flap, which opens like this. Here's the inside cover and we open out like this and we've got another magnetic flap, a little tuck spot with a mini folio, room for an itty bitty baby picture and a sweet little sentiment. You could put another picture on the back. This page flips out. You've got room for baby's vital statistics here. And then this little folio flips out and you've got room for a nice sized photo here and you could add journaling here if you wanted to. Then this page is a pocket. It's actually a double pocket. The pocket below has baby's milestones, first laugh, first bath, first smile, first steps, and of course room for a photo on the back. And then in the other pocket is another little mini folio. Um, I believe this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you could put three more photos here. And of course, tuck photos in the pocket. As long as you don't get too fat, um, it, will, it will continue to close. All right, so sit back and relax and we'll get this tutorial started. All right, my friends, let's get this little uh, Throwback Thursday started. So, from your Welcome Baby Boy Echo Park solids, you're going to need one sheet of this light blue and one sheet of the dark blue. And I want you to cut each of these sheets into three and a quarter inch wide strips. So you're going to have a total of six three and a half inch wide strips. Then what we're going to do, and I'm trying to keep this all together here, is you're going to overlap the cut ends. I'm trying to find a place where I did this right here, about a quarter of an inch. 
and you can use quarter inch score tape or you can use a dries clear adhesive, whatever you like. Then starting on one end, you're going to score every three and one quarter inches. So each little panel is going to be a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch square. And you can see from looking at this, this turns out to be a chunky little monkey. When you get down to the next to the last, and I'll show you this, all right, you're going to score three and a quarter and you'll have this strip left here. Score three quarter inch spine. And then as you can see, this just wraps around like this and becomes the cover. So I'll take all these pieces out. I had put them in so, just so you can see. It's huge. It just goes on and on. So you're gonna end up with a total of 21 three and a quarter inch squares from those two pieces of um, 12 by 12 card stock. So you can see I started on this end, three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter. Here's where I joined it and then scored again at three and a quarter. And you're just gonna fold these and just keep scoring. I did three and a quarter, six and a half, three and a quarter, six and a half. And I just kept going, going, going. And then when I got to here, I knew I had to score in a spine. So at this next to the last, three and a quarter, score that, then score three quarters of an inch, then score three and a quarter, and then you have a little flap. And you can see how this all, once you accordion fold it, this becomes a flap on the inside, and this is how your book opens, see? So then you're gonna take the 12 by 12 sheet of the little three by three cut aparts, and you're gonna cut those all into little pieces, and then you're going to load those into your book. So once you've cut out all of these three by three squares, go ahead and organize them from It's a Boy to You and Me, all the way through to one year old. And then you're just gonna go through and glue these down onto your pages. So I'm gonna start with It's a Boy here. Then I'm gonna flip this page and this will be the picture of mom and baby. And then because you usually have more than one picture right there, you know, daddy holding the baby, grandma holding the baby, grandpa holding the baby, go ahead and give yourself about three or four blank pages. I think I'm gonna say, let's take it right to here. So you see this one, cover, this is gonna be patterned paper three by three, blank, 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 and then one week old. And I'm using this to cover up, this covers up the place where we joined those pages. Okay, so one week old, one little picture. One month old, one little picture. This is a great brag book for grandma or auntie, or dad on his desk, whatever. Two month. So now you come back to the front and you're gonna flip it. This
closure on this. So I've got half inch score tape and I'm just running it over the front cover, around the spine. Whoops. Lay it flat, it'll work better. And across that back cover. And burnish that down. Now come in with your ribbon and this is Capri Blue. I thought it was a pretty good match. I didn't want to go too pastel and I want enough of an overhang here to tie a bow, wrap it around and we want to kind of make these even. That's probably way more than what I need. Probably right about there. All right. Remove your score tape. Find the midpoint of your ribbon and the midpoint of your spine. Lay this ribbon right across that score tape. And burnish that down. Okay? And now you can tie your bow. So that's the basics of how you do that. You're going to come back and you're going to cut your three by three panels. Um, to cover your pages and I will tell you how many of those you will need. So you're going to need 26 3 by 3s. You're going to need one 1 half by 3 and you're going to need well actually go ahead and make it go ahead and make it 20 28 3 by 3s and I'll show you why when we do this little flap page together. So 28 three by threes. Okay, so I've added my three by three covers here. And now we're gonna add the spine piece. And for this, I cut a piece that is two and a half by three and a quarter. And I'm gonna come, I want this to wrap. So I'm gonna come over, I don't know, a little bit and just wrap it right around like that. And what this is going to do is strengthen this spine. And it also creates this really cute round shape, which um, looks, looks really neat. So I'm just burnishing this down, but this is really gonna strengthen. Now those three by three pieces that I added, I um, backed with some chipboard just to add more stability so that this will last, so that this will stand up to use. So there is that. And then here are all the papers that I've cut to go inside. We're gonna do that in a second. I just wanna show you this little trick. I want to make a pocket here. So what I'm gonna do is come over about to here with my paper. Just, I've centered it top and bottom and just to the left of the fold. And now I'm going to put adhesive here and here. I'm gonna flip this open the back page to the book and then this becomes a little pocket you see that and now this little guy lines our pocket I'm 
just like that. Now, if you wanted to make that into a flip page, you could do that by, um, oops, I got some glue on my table. Let me get that up real quick. But what I have from the paper collection are these little tags that I cut out. So I want to put this little stork tag in there and then maybe this oh baby tag in there. Really cute, right? And then we have some other ones that we can add in. I didn't take any of the ones that say like one month, two month. And then here on the spine, I cut just under three quarters. It's probably about five eighths of an inch by three, and this is gonna go on our spine right here. Oops, right side up is good though, guys. Do right side up. There. So now you just have to add your pages. And I just went through and I cut a bunch um, at three by three. All right, once your pages are all lined, I wanna show you how to make a few little pockets for this. So some of these pages have lots of room for pictures. Um, and you can take one of your three by threes, trim an inch and a half off of it, and then from the off cut of that, cut a couple of one inch strips, and you're just gonna make a little gusset for this pocket, I've got three one inch strips. We're gonna put one on the bottom, like that, kind of in the middle, so that little things won't fall out. And then one on each side, the folded edge goes against the cut edge of the paper. Those of you who've seen me do this 5,000 times, you can go get a snack. All right, so here's our page. I think I'm gonna put the pocket over here, just like that. And now we can come in with another one of our little tags. Stick it in there. There's that one. Then let's maybe put another pocket here. So I just go, I just cut this at an inch and a half because it's three. And that gives us another inch and a half, which is gonna be the right height. So we're just gonna go one. Two, three. Just fold these in half. There's another little pocket. And we can stick a couple more tags in here. Well, I can just maybe one. Because I might want to use this one that's a special delivery on the cover. So there's our little folio, all finished. Not hard, right? This comes around and you tie a bow. Okay. 
and then I'll trim the tails. Don't trim them too short though, because if you do, it's really hard to retie this. You wanna leave some length on those. So I'm gonna say like that. And the thing about ribbon is you can always cut it shorter, but you can't cut it longer. So we'll find something to do with those little scraps. That'll be really cute. But this way, our little book is um, easy to tie. So we're gonna put this little card base together and you're gonna take one sheet of eight and a half by 11 card stock and cut it at five and a half all the way down, then fold in half to make a five and a half inch square side fold card. Then you're going to take the three inch strip that is left and you're going to trim it to 10 inches wide and score this in half. And this is going to be our flap. And we put this in first. So we put our adhesive on the back and we wanna center this and line the fold up with the edge of the inside of the card, like this. And then we have a piece of, this is five and just under five and a half by five and a half. It's not quite five and three eighths by five and three eighths. It's, not, it's right in between. And this glues over this. So see that covers up our little arm mechanism. All right, now we're going to place our magnet. And for this, I'm gonna use uh, bigger magnets because we're gonna go through more than one layer and I wanna make sure that they stick. So I'm gonna come in about an inch in the center there and I'm gonna glue my magnet down. Not with that, I'm not. I'm take a little piece of score tape It over my magnet here then take my negative magnet it whoops now see they have that one marked wrong y'all that is so funny when they do that let's see all right they marked these wrong but anyway when it's the right way it will go right to that now we're just going to close our arm over and we're going to press this in place lift the arm. There's our magnet. So this goes here. And then I prepared for this. I cut a five and a half by five and a half inch square of the navy from the paper collection and then put a five and I think it was five and a quarter. Anyway, on top of that and stitched it. My sewing machine, I think I need a new needle because the stitching was a little messier than usual. But we'll just go ahead and put this down. And this lines up with the edges like, oops. Caught that score tape. Okay, there we go. And just burnish that down. And then to go on top of that, I took the four by four welcome baby and matted it on a slightly larger piece of the navy solids that come with the collection. I'm just gonna trim this down the tiniest bit. There we go. And this is not dimensional. This, um, we can add stickers, um, but this is not dimensional because you've got to get that um, arm mechanism to go over it. See, like that. All right. Now for the mechanism, I cut a three inch strip of our paper. And I'm gonna glue this one down. 
this way. Oops. And this is three, five by three. Make sure we still close. And I like to burnish every time. And then on the front, I want just the gingham. Just like this. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. And for this page over here, you're going to cut a nine and a half by five and a half inch piece and then score it at five and a half. For this, we want small maggots. So I'm going to put this magnet here. Put my score tape over it. Then I'm going to close this. and put that magnet there. And that will hold that flap so that it doesn't go flying open. And that's all the magnet play for today. All right, so now we're just gonna put some adhesive on here. And we're gonna line this up like that. And see our flap stays in place thanks to the magnet. And then I cut this little strip of the safety pin paper and we're just going to put this down like this in the center. And then I took two of the three by fours. I left them hinged together, folded them in half. And then I didn't want the verse there. I want a little picture, you know, like the little uh, ones that they take in the hospital. I thought this would be a cute place to put that right there. And then if we want to decorate this, I want to keep it pretty simple. Let's take cute as a button. And then this just tucks back behind that belly band. Then this opens out. And our little baby information card goes there. We're just gonna glue this down, just like that. And let's take this little tiger and put him down here, so cute. Then on our flap page, I took another two panel. This one has the happy birthday and the love. This is four by fours. And we're just gonna glue this down. I'm not worried about magnets on this because it's inside the flap. So it's automatically going to stay in place better. So that goes right in the center like that. And then Let's take our little B, A,
that's not quite angle and that's not quite right. that's good I don't think we have to do anything else but then right here I want to put this it's a boy and then picture can go there so that is that moving right along this page I've cut a losing my ruler six and three-eighths by two and uh, it's a little over two and a half I just left the branding strip on this was a scrap and I trimmed out the corners. And we're just gonna make a quick pocket. This goes here. I should really stretch this out and make this about three throwback Thursdays. And I might, because this is a lot of work. Then this is gonna be like a kangaroo pocket inside too. We're just gonna put our adhesive on the sides and the bottom, like this. Then we can come back and tuck something little in here. And then, or maybe we'll just, um, Tuck baby milestones in there. That's cute. And then I took another. This is an eight and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to glue this on the front cover. And this is just a little photo folio. So you can see, even though this is small, you're getting a ton of photos in here and that goes in that pocket. And then you can also, once you add your baby milestones here, you can do a little photo on the back. So that's pretty cool. And then on this flap, hello baby boy, right there. I think that's all I want. So now that is all of that. And you can see our magnet is still working. Now we build our kangaroo pocket. All right, so you're gonna need a heavy piece of blue cardstock. And I went kind of almost navy. And this needs to be seven inches by three inches. And then you're going to score one, two, three quarters of an inch, one, two, three quarters of an inch. You're going to turn it. You're going to score one, two, three quarters of an inch, one, two, three quarters of an inch. You're going to turn it. You're going to score one, two, three quarters of an inch, one, two, three quarters of an inch. And then you're going to fold on all these scored lines. Come in with your scissors and cut this outer rectangle out completely on each side. Okay. 
Then this inner rectangle, you're going to cut straight up from the vertical to the horizontal score lines. Now, you're going to put your adhesive on these little tabs. You're going to roll these in and adhere them to this flap. I'll do this one from the inside so you can hopefully see what I'm doing. I know it's a little bit dark, but maybe you can tell. And you want to make sure, like see how that's not lined up? Come back and adjust that. You want these pockets, I mean these corners, neat and square. All right? So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to burnish that down to encourage those to stay. Where I put them. And I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to cut a little triangle out of the top of each of these flaps. I'm going to fold this flap up and this flap goes over. So like that. And again, you want to be neat and square. So take your time and make sure that you have that the way that you want it to be. So now our pocket measures four inches by one and a half inches, which is what I wanted it to measure. So this is four, this is three quarters, this is three quarters. Three quarters and three quarters is one and a half. Four plus one and a half is five and a half. This is one and a half and this is three quarters. So one and a half plus a quarter is one and three quarters, so two and a quarter. We're going to cut these five and a half by two and a quarter. We're going to go one, two, three on this side. We're going to turn it. We're going to one, two, three. We're going to turn it. We're going to go one, two, three. Now we're just going to cut up from the horizontal to the vertical. We're going to fold on our score lines. These little flaps get adhesive. We make neat and square corners. Now we test it to make sure that it fits, and it does, like a glove, perfect, perfect. So now we come back in, we add our adhesive. Just going to slip this over here. Burnish it down. Now we bring in our book. Center this on your cover. So now you put your adhesive on the back of your box, your kangaroo pocket. Line it up. And I think I'm going to go. Yeah, I think I'm going to go right in the center. And now burnish that down. This will fit, she says. <laughs> It does. It's just not quite set up below, so you have to handle it with a bit of care. 
And you could go an inch on this if you wanted to, if you're afraid this is too tight. Um, I wouldn't go any more than an inch though. But I think once that glue sets, you're gonna be just fine. It's gonna be perfect. So now all you have to do is add your decorations, whatever decorations you want. And this is your baby boy kangaroo pocket folio. I'll finish mine and show you what I do. All right, friends, it's finished. I just added some bows and those little uh, leftover pieces of ribbon. I folded in half and made little banner flags, a button here on our tag, and then I found these little novelty buttons in my stash and these little darling little baby charms. There's a stork carrying the bundle and a little old-fashioned baby carriage. So that is the end of it. All finished up, all done. And uh, what a great gift, right? Even if you give it to yourself to put your own grandbaby's pictures in. So that's it for me, Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join me. Just click on the link in the description box below. And if you would do me a favor and give this video a like, it really helps build my channel. The more people who watch and like videos, the more new followers that Google and YouTube send me. And that helps me stay afloat. So I would appreciate that so much. And that's it for Throwback Thursday for this week. I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye.